What would you do if you were moving across the country and then were involved in an accident, losing just about everything? Yeah, well, unfortunately, it happened to a local military family. And tonight, Taylor Williams sat down with one of the members of the family. She joins us now in the newsroom with the latest. Taylor. Thanks, Sadie and Mike. Keaton and Alexandria Ward were on their way from Terre Haute to their new home, Fort Bra Braggs, in North Carolina, when the unthinkable happened. Now, the family stranded in West Virginia and asking for prayers and help. Todd Ward is counting his blessings after his son Keaton and his young family had a close call while driving in West Virginia Tuesday afternoon. It's stressful, but they're, they're grateful. We're more grateful than anything that they're okay. Keaton and Alexandria Ward are both Terre Haute South grads recently married with a new baby. The couple and their two children were on their way from Terre Haute to Fort Bragg, North Carolina, where Keaton is set to report on Monday when they were involved in a five-vehicle accident. A trash truck uh, either didn't signal or didn't give any signal it was going to stop. They tried to void that trash truck and uh, they had a, uh, the trailer jackknifed on them. Semi coming the other way took out that trailer with her car on top of that trailer and then it came on past that and hit Al Alex was driving at the time and um, it hit Alex and Keaton's car and totaled it completely. Alex and the couple's three-month-old Oakley were transported to the hospital and sustained minor injuries. The family found themselves halfway to their destination stuck without transportation and worries that Keaton won't make it to base for duty on Monday. Our NBC affiliate in West Virginia caught up with Keaton Wednesday. Like I said, we were moving from Indiana to North Carolina and we had everything that we had in those two cars and now they're gone. So we're just trying to get back, trying to get home. Todd Ward hopes news of his son's situation will help the young military family. Any help necessary that they think they can provide to be appreciated, but prayers to further calmness and settling. Now we are in the process in contacting the Red Cross to see if the organization will be able to provide some help. We'll keep you updated on this story. Taylor, thank you for that report. Now, if you would like to help the family, we'll have more information on our website, mywabashvalley.com.